Yo, what's up my fellow skill stackers? Hey, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna have a little fun. Normally I do a lot of teaching and you may actually learn something from this. But today I wanna talk about logo fails and branding fails. There's a few different things that have come up. I happen to read uh, this website called Creative Block where I get a lot of my information, a lot of my knowledge. I consume a ton of content. So I found this topic that I thought would be really hilarious to talk about, a little bit inappropriate. So if you're a child, you probably should find another video to watch, but this one is absolutely hilarious. So I thought we would take a look at some of the worst branding fails that you guys have probably ever seen, and you might get a good laugh, but there are also some mistakes that you can learn from to make sure that you don't make the mistakes that I've even seen my clients make in the past that I'm gonna talk about here in this video. So let's go ahead and jump in to the main story, to the main thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, and this is the Volkswagen hilarious Instagram branding fail, and it actually went viral. So Instagram obviously is a really popular social media platform and all the different companies are getting on these platforms. Well, Volkswagen Italy jumped onto Instagram and created their own profile, and they called themselves Volkswagen Italia, right? But the problem is, is when you put those two words together, it creates a problem. So Volkswagen actually fell prey to this. Um, one of the biggest branding fails that I've personally have seen and the community and people that are on Instagram are just ranting and raving about this and it's just kind of taken off. So the hashtag is Volkswagen Italia, but if you look at it closely, it literally says Volkswagen Genitalia. And that is a pretty appropriate statement, but the comments and the things that are happening from this post um, are pretty viral for the company. It reminds me of, I, I was gonna do a video on this recently, but the Kia, the new Kia logo. Some people love it, some people hate it, but now because of the way that they did their branding, a lot of people are looking up KN cars, which is a problem. It's not sending them to where Kia probably wants them to go, which is Kia cars. So a lot of these mistakes can hurt a business, but they can also help a business. And in this case with Volkswagen, I think it actually helped them, especially for Italy and people that are seeing this. And, People are talking about it, it's bringing their buzz back. So I think this is a really hilarious one. Another one that I wanted to bring up that I thought was really funny um, is one that my friend Chris Middleton, who's spoken at my Instagraphics event, posted in our Instagraphics group. And I wanted to show you guys this one because this is hilarious. So someone actually, there's a meme about it, but someone designed this, then someone approved it for production, then someone printed it, then someone bought it, and then they put it on their car. So it shows you how far people are go were willing to go and how much they love their dogs. This one is a sticker that has a heart and it says, I is supposed to say heart my dog, but instead they put a big bone through the middle. So it literally says, I boned my dog, right? Which is pretty hilarious. <laughs> and so there's some comments on here from the community and the people in the group, but this is another great example of a logo fail that I thought, or a branding fail that I thought was really hilarious. Um, one thing I want you guys to kind of take from this just right out of the gate is a lesson. Uh, I'll give you a story, a really good story. So one of the branding fails that I heard about when I was a kid was more of a PR and a marketing fail than even a branding fail, but Married with Children. They, they built a TV show called Married with Children. It was really popular in the 90s and they built a brand around the male chauvinist. It was a really hilarious show, but it was so chauvinist and it was so toxically masculine nowadays is what they would call it, that women were going onto television, going onto the news and ranting and raving about how terrible that TV show was. And that show was a failure. It was an absolute flop. And it wasn't until that lady went onto TV and actually started complaining about it on the news, the people started watching it and they found it hilarious. And the people who were lighthearted that could really gravitate to that type of personality and comedy really loved the show. And it became a really popular kind of cult following around married with children. So that's a good example of bad marketing becoming good marketing. Sometimes you can kind of create some bad press uh, and it can actually end up working in your favor. People talking poorly about you saying something like, oh, he's really expensive. For me, if somebody said that I was really expensive, that would be good for me. I want people to think and I want people to know that I'm very expensive because what I do is better than everybody else. I'm not cheap. I don't want ever want to be associated with somebody that's cheap. So this is a really good lesson, a really good mistake that I think a lot of people make as they try to come out there and be the, the cheap person. Now, it led me to another article that was these 14 design fails that were so bad they were actually good. And one of them is down here, I'll scroll down to this one. And this is the OGC logo you can see here, I'll just read it. 
The UK Office of Government Commerce existed from 2000 to 2011 with the objective of proving efficiency in public spending. In 2007, it commissioned FHD to design a new logo that would show the body's bold commitment to driving up standards. The problem is, is when you look at the logo, when they printed it on pens and all these different things, mats and all the different stationary items, they never looked at it from a different orientation. And it actually looks like a guy's head, his arms, and then you know what, sticking up in the middle with his legs. And it only took them, I guess, a few minutes to figure it out, but they stuck with the design. And one of the people, the spokesperson for the company said, it, it, it is not inappropriate that an organization that's looking to have a firm grip on government spend. So they actually use this really inappropriate logo to benefit them. And nobody's gonna notice that until they turn it sideways. But I thought that was a really funny one, something that I would wanna share with you guys. But I'm just curious from your guys' perspective, what is the worst logo or the worst design mistake that you've made, design fail, branding fail, or someone that you've seen a client make? Which leads me to something I wanted to show you guys. I actually have a current client that I do marketing for that has a terrible logo in my opinion. And I'm calling him out and I know he's not gonna care because he's really bold and brave about it. But Dennis has a company called DB Hill, Dennis Hill. And his logo here, I'll show you kind of a bigger version of it, which is on Google Images. You can see, we'll just make it a little bit bigger. You can see just right out of the gate, just by taking a first glance, he's got two big circles and then a big shaft coming up in the middle which I felt like was really inappropriate. So I went to him and I said, look, man, I think your logo is pretty inappropriate. I think it's gonna be offensive to people. I think I could make you something even better. Let me design you something better. He's like, no, I really like my logo. And I'm like, okay, well, this one's hanging right and a little to the left. And just I just think that you could really stand to use a better logo. And he was very adamant about sticking with his current logo. And so I didn't end up doing that. But if I were to redesign it, this is what I would have done. I think this was a much better solution, much better idea. But the fact is, is there have been other people, other clients of his that have brought up this logo and said how inappropriate it is. And he felt like it conveyed strength, that it conveyed courage. And as a personal injury attorney, that's just a message that he wanted to send. So I think this is a really hilarious logo design and kind of logo design fail, if you will, that actually works in his benefit for the most part. I personally wouldn't do it. That's just not my personality, but something I thought you guys would get a kick out and find to be pretty funny. So let me know down in the comments what you think is the funniest or most inappropriate logo. There's the one, um, not inappropriate, but it's a funny design that you see that's a really popular graphic design meme is graphic designer for hire. And it's like somebody wrote it in multiple colors and it's like, looks like a little kid drew it and they put it up on a billboard now hiring a graphic designer. That's a really popular one that's gotten a lot of traction as well. Sometimes if you're looking to make a statement, you gotta do the opposite of what everybody else thinks you're gonna make and that's gonna be able to be the best marketing you can get your hands on. So this is a really great resource, really funny story around Volkswagen and their Volkswagen genitalia um, and Volkswagen Italia, which is what it was supposed to be. If you wanna find out, find more cool articles, you wanna dive a little bit deeper, you wanna have a good laugh, check out this article on Creative Block. It's a really great website, I wanna advocate for it. And I'll put a link down in the description to that website as well. If you have any questions, you have any comments, you wanna, you know, you love this type of content, let me know down in the comments, hit the like, hit the subscribe, show me your support, it would really mean a lot. So until the next video, I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.